Hi everyone, this is Teo from Pragablocks.com. A few days ago, I showed you the drawer that I used to store my art supplies and inside the pencil case, I discovered that I have a folded pen. This is actually a DIY pen. It's like a deep pen that is made by my friend. Today, I'm going to show you what it can be used for. This is the folded pen that I have. This is a DIY pen, a pen that you can make yourself. There are two parts to it. One is the metal tip here. This so-called nib is made of one single sheet of metal. It's a very thin piece of metal that was pressed together and then cut to form this um, nib. I'm not sure how to make it. If I find my friend, I will ask him to create a tutorial for it. But this is essentially how it looks like. And if you use the broad side of the nib for drawing, you can get very thick strokes and to get thin lines, you would have to use the tip here. If you want to make this yourself, be careful because this is metal, there are sharp edges, so it can be quite dangerous, so be careful. And the other part is the metal stick that goes behind, basically just to hold the nib. That's it, that's how it looks like. It's not very complicated to make. This is basically a type of dip pen, so you do have to use it with an ink bottle, preferably one with a large opening. So I'm using this Kuretake Black Ink 60. So let me just dip inside. So because the metal is folded together, the ink is able to collect between the two pieces of metal. And it seems to me that it doesn't hold a lot of ink, so let's try and create some strokes. So you can see different variations. Depending on how you hold the pen, you can get thin to thick lines. It's quite fun to use because it can be quite random and you won't exactly know how the pen is going to behave because every folded pen is different. It does use a lot of ink and it uses a lot of ink very quickly and because it doesn't hold a lot of ink in the nib, you have to constantly reload it. So that's the inconvenient part. And sometimes when using this side versus this side, there can be differences as well. So let me try using this side first. So with this side, I can get rather thick strokes. Now with the other side, it should be the same, but I found out that sometimes I can get rather consistent stroke, but sometimes not. So it's really random and it also depends on when your ink is going to run out. So even for all these strokes here, you can see every single one of them is different and when the ink runs out you are going to get uh, this sort of effect and this is not a very easy pen to use for drawing purposes i'm not sure what sort of subject this pen is best suited for drawing because the lines they are really very expressive so this is probably not the type of pen to be used for technical drawings or drawings that are meant to be very accurate. And because it uses so much ink, it can take a while for the ink to actually dry. And sometimes when I want a certain type of stroke to come out, for example, if I want thick lines, it would actually give me thin lines because I did not angle the pen properly. So for example, here I wanted thicker lines, but I wasn't able to get that. Well, it's really difficult to control this. Another thing is you don't know when it's going to run off ink, so you have to constantly are reloaded. And be careful when drawing because when you load the ink inside, some of the ink 
if you're not careful it might actually drip onto your canvas so this is where I want detail I want to keep the lines thin but it's very difficult for me to do so I want this area here to be black let me try drawing with the tip of the pen so as you can see the lines they are very thick very bold and very striking there's a lot of contrast I have to say that constantly reloading this pen can be quite inconvenient very tedious so in order to make a drawing like this you have to reload so many times let's see if I can actually use the tip for some hatching lines let me try medium lines You can see how much ink was deposited here so for this sort of pen I think it is best used on a loose sheet of paper like this if you're going to be using it in a sketchbook then you have to wait for the ink to completely dry before you can actually close the sketchbook and looking at what I have right now I would probably need to put this in the Sun for at least 15 to 30 minutes and if you're drawing it indoors this is going to take a few hours to dry properly I should probably show you if it's possible to create calligraphy with this pen I'm not very good at that but I'm going to show you some letters that I write so this is the folded pen and the ink I'm using is the Kure Take black ink 60 let's see if we can uh, use the broad strokes to create some letters I have to dip it for every letter So the strokes they are really very random so even for this stroke where I, tr where I just refilled my ink it's dry here and just now when I was flicking the pen accidentally some of the ink actually came uh, splattering out so be careful so this is the folded pen it's a fun but definitely very challenging pen to use I don't use this often in fact earlier on I told you that I just discovered that I have this pen in my pencil case now the main reason why I don't like to use this pen is because it's too challenging for me and also every time when I finish using this I will have to clean this properly in order to transport it around and I also have to bring an extra ink bottle out and usually when I'm sketching outdoors I try not to bring so many things out because it can get quite heavy so that's all for today's video if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below i will post some related links in the video description so that you can check it out thanks for watching see you in the next video bye